Hello and welcome to my video on how to improve the Casio F91. I've been wanting to make this video for a very long time and seeing as I have a few Casio watches now I thought now would be a good time to make it. I want to put something out straight away at the start of this video and that is I don't want the Casio F91 to be replaced. I don't. Uh, it holds a special place in all of our hearts, especially if you're watching this. You might have had one uh, when you were younger. You might still have one. You might just keep um, purchasing them or changing the battery on them. And they're just good to go. They're cheap, reliable, and for a lot of people, there's just no real reason to pick up any more watches. The purpose of this video is how would I improve it? So they can keep selling the millions and millions uh, of units that they do sell of the Casio F91, but like they have done recently with older Casio vintage models, upgrading the components, upgrading the materials, adding newer features to them at a premium price, I feel like the F91 completely deserves this. So this is the Casio F91. I think you can pick one of these up for about 10 quid, maybe even 13 pounds, something like that. It's very cheap, inexpensive. It's a quartz digital watch by Casio. They've been making these since the 80s. I had a variant that had 50 meters water resistant, but in all intents purpose, it was the same and I had that when I was a kid growing up. It can look a bit small on sort of seven inch wrists like myself or, or bigger. The light is terrible although I always make a joke that it's a energy saving uh, light. Um, it shows you the day, the date, whether you're in 24 hour time or a.m. and p.m. and it's got a couple of functions such as the time, an alarm, a stopwatch, and that's it. Extra water resistance would be great. And there are some videos out there that put this uh, watch under 60 meters of pressure and it still survives. I remember that I partook in a number of aquatic activities with my model as a kid, um, the one that was 50 meters and um, never had any issues. I probably even was pressing the buttons on the water, which you shouldn't really do. Um, and it was still fine and it lasted me a long, long time until the battery died. Uh, I think the um, strap actually gave away before uh, the, uh, the battery died itself. So firstly, let's have a look at the alternative. So as I said, uh, this is, I think, a copy of the watch that I had when I was a kid. It's very similar to the F91. It's called the W59, um, similar sort of price. Same energy saving side light, but it just increases the water resistance from water resist to 50 meters. I'm not sure, I mean, maybe it's something to do with the, the seals in there, but the screws are only a little bit bigger. Um, the strap is, it, it's a little bit nicer and it is noticeable and there are holes on the top part. And I think it's a tiny, tiny bit thicker, ever so slightly though, it's hardly noticeable. The numbers are a bit thicker as well, rather than the very thin uh, 91. So that's your other option if you wanted 50 meters water resistance, um, but keep the same functions um, and a similar kind of look. Of course, you could upgrade it further still and go for the W86, which is this one, which has all of the same functions and the same water resistance, but it has a vastly improved uh, backlight, an electroluminescence backlight. And I think actually at the moment you can pick this up for cheaper than the F91. Look at that backlight. There's just no comparison. It's just gorgeous. And of course, if you still wanted an F91, you can get them in pink, blue, of course, I've got an orange one. Um, but again, it's still got the same functions. 
uh, but in that sort of, I say classic vintage, uh, vintage for digital uh, look. You could go for a very blinged out version of the F91, I guess, which considerably adds to the weight um, in the form of the A168 right here. Again, has all of the same functions, uh, but with that electro luminescent light, but it keeps the water resist. So it's not 50 meters or anything like that. And although it looks metal, the case is actually plastic, but the band is metal. So you can go for like a blinged out, I think they do them in gold and sort of a gunmetal color as well. The whole purpose of this video, as I say, is if Casio invested the time and the money, like they have done with a couple of other vintage models, what would I like to see? What features would I like to see in a one watch, one version to rule them all kind of thing? Now, of course, I would love to see the electroluminescence. Either this, or in the orange, or in the white LED, as you can see from this uh, G-Shock Square. The white LED would still be fine. They do have models of G-Shock uh, that have the kind of luminescent LED that are also solar powered, so that's possible. But that's what I'd like to see. Not only would I like to see the LED or an electroluminescence um, on an F91 in this same size, uh, case and format, I would also like, and hear me out on this one, it to be auto LED. So yeah, an F91 that you can just tilt your wrist and the electroluminescence or the LED comes on. I'd like its water resistance to be a minimum of 50 meters. Maybe if they could stretch it to 100 meters would be fantastic. I'd like an improvement to the band or at least this band with some extra holes and a uh, nicer material. I'd like mineral glass instead of just the plastic, mineral glass as, as the bare minimum, like what the, the G-Shocks have. And then finally, the two other features that I would like as like a wish list would be solar powered. So again, like the G-Shock Square, I'm not sure whether they could do it, whether they could fit the solar panels anywhere on there. Um, because typically the solar panels are around the edge of the, of the square. I'm not sure whether they could do that around here. I don't think that's, that space is, is large enough uh, to charge, but they are the experts. Um, but that would be a wish list feature. If not, battery life of 10 years or something like that, that still, that still would be very nice. Although then that begs the question, it have to be LED to in increase the uh, lifespan of that um, battery. And then the second thing on the wish list I'd like to see would be either Bluetooth or multiband six. Now there are arguments for and against both of those technologies. For me, multiband six would be great because I am in range of uh, one of those six um, transmitters, atomic clock transmitters, but for a lot of people um, that have their phones on them that aren't in range, like India, Australia, South America, and so on, having that Bluetooth would be good. So I would like to see two models if they can stretch to it. I'd like to see a minimum of 50 or 100 meters water resistance, improvements to the strap, either the white LED or the electroluminescence, and it be an auto illuminator. And then the wish list features, solar powered and either multiband six or Bluetooth, so that it's always correct. I'm not saying that this one is incorrect, but I don't think I've changed the time on this one since I picked it up uh, quite a few months ago. And it is running fast. It's about 10 seconds fast um, over a few months, which isn't too bad, but to have it, you know, to have the option of it, you know, be Bluetooth or uh, multiband six would be, would be incredible. And it's a long time coming because they have, as I said, Casio have improved some of the older uh, vintage models um, with better materials and new technologies, but they would be the features that I would enjoy the most. It's kind of added to the charm that there's a missing button there, but 
they could add a fourth button there for the Bluetooth, for the multiband six. I'm not saying that they have to add more alarms or a timer or anything like that, but they could utilize uh, that missing button. Again, the whole purpose of this video isn't to completely replace the F91 at all. I would still love for Casio to keep making them, keep selling them at this cheap price and encouraging um, future watch collectors, but also humbling older watch collectors with the watch uh, that they may remember from childhood and has revived so many warm memories. Do you agree with my list of improvements to the F91? Are there any other features you'd like to see? I would normally say, would you like to see a G-Shock version or MRG, but really the G-Shock version of the F91 is pretty much this. I'm not sure they could make a G-Shock this tiny um, with all of the features, but it would be cool if they could also do that. Please do put your thoughts and opinions down below and uh, if there are any other features that I was missing or you'd like to see on an F91, Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.